Good morning to you all. It's good to be with you on this early Friday morning, reminding everyone that we are open for worship this Sunday morning at 1015 here at Grace Point Church, and we would love for you to join us. We continue our study uh, in John's Gospel, we're beginning John chapter 13, and so we invite you to come and join us for the worship of God and join us for the study of God's Word uh, this Sunday morning at 1015 here at Grace Point Church. When we gather together for worship uh, this Sunday morning, sitting under the proclamation of God's Word, we will hear this assurance of pardon, and this comes to us from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, and listen to what Peter writes. Peter writes, grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. So we know that God indeed is providing through Christ the, the many blessings, the provision that we need for our life, everything to sustain our life. We would say this, we would say the need is great to be sure. But the supply is inexhaustible because the source is all compassionate. So the need is great. We look at this world and the difficulty and the darkness of this world. We see the sin all around us. We see our, our society collapsing as it is, uh, turning its back on God. So we know the challenges and we feel the weight of all of this, uh, of, of the difficulty and the challenge of our times. Um, so we know the need is great in that way. The need is great, of course, for our own lives and the things that we need to sustain our lives and the things that our loved ones and friends and family need. There's no doubt about that. The need is also great within our own hearts. Uh, sin no longer reigns over the believer, but it remains. And we know that because uh, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. Christians aren't perfect. Christians are forgiven, but they're not perfect. Um, we're all in this process that God is continually working on us and in us and through us, preparing us for glory. And so we're not perfect and we never would ever want to think that we are. Um, so the darkness and the sin that remains in our own life is, a, is the challenge as well. So all of these things are there. All of these things are real. So we say the need is great to be sure. There's nobody walking around saying, you know, I don't really need anything. No, no, we all are in great need. There's no doubt about that. But we also know this, that the supply is inexhaustible. So though the need is great, the supply is greater. In fact, th there is no end to the supply that comes to us. Now, how do we know that to be true? Well, we know that the supply is inexhaustible because the source is all compassionate. We have a king, a savior, and a Lord whose grace and mercy for us is all-encompassing. And it is so overwhelming. So Christ is our source and our supply, is the one who comes to us with, with love and compassion, uh, with mercy for the believer. Um, so because of that love that he has for us, that benevolence that he has for us, which is just overwhelming and, and above all things, um, therefore his supply is inexhaustible as a resource for our lives and for our very existence. And not just our life now, but our, our life for all eternity. Uh, the text here says that his divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness. So it's for life today and it's for our existence throughout all eternity. The blessings poured out to us from the great and glorious Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so hold to these blessed truth. The need is great to be sure, but the supply is inexhaustible because the source is all compassionate. 